the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. Dear friends, we pray for your intentions. We pray for God's mercy and compassion towards you and towards the whole humanity. Let us pray for each other that we too may learn from the sacred heart of Jesus to be precious to the Father, to the Son, and to the Spirit, and receive blessings and graces in abundance. My dear brothers and sisters, we thank you for participating in the Holy Eucharist daily. We humbly ask you to support our channel by your prayers and by your financial assistance. We need your cooperation in order to proceed in life with this ministry so that we can reach out to the whole world together as a family. We pray for your intentions at this moment and pray for God's mercy and compassion. Praying for those who are suffering, those who are struggling in life, praying for those who are waiting for the gift of child and those youngsters who are waiting for a good life partner. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory be to the Father. Glory be to the Son. Glory be to the Spirit. All glory to our God. Glory be Hello. 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that fount of heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of Hosea, chapter 11, verse 1, verse 3 to 4, and 8 to 9. Listen to the word of the Lord. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and I called my son out of Egypt. I myself taught Epiram to walk. I took them in my arms. Yet they have not understood that I was the one looking after them. I led them with reins of kindness with leading string, strings of love. I was like someone who lifts an infant close against his cheek. Stooping down to him, I gave him his food. Epiram, how could I part with you? Israel, how could I give, up, give you up? How could I treat you like Ad Adma or deal with you like Jeboim? My heart recoils from it. My whole being trembles at the thought. I will not give rein to my fierce anger. I will not destroy Epiram again, for I am God, not man. I am the Holy One in your midst, and I have no wish to destroy. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Truly, God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my Savior. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Response With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to His name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. Response With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make him known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Response With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Chapter 3, verses 8 to 12, 14 to 19. The love of Christ is beyond all knowledge. I, Paul, who am less than the least of all the saints, have been entrusted with this special grace, not only of proclaiming to the pagans the infinite treasure of Christ, but also of explaining how the mystery is to be dispended. Through all the ages, this has been kept hidden in God, the creator of everything. Why? So that the sovereignties and power should learn only now, to the Church, how comprehensive God's wisdom really is. 
which he had from all eternity in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is why we are bold enough to approach God in complete confidence through our faith in him. This, then, is what I pray, kneeling before the Father, from whom every family, whether spiritual or natural, takes its name. Out of His infinite glory, may He give you the power through His Spirit for your hidden self to grow strong, so that Christ may live in your hearts through faith, and then planted in love and built on love. You will with all the saints have strength to grasp the breadth and the length, the height and the depth until knowing the love of Christ, which is beyond all knowledge. You are filled with the utter fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the love I mean. God's love for us when He sent His Son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 19, verses 31 to 37. It was preparation day, and to prevent the bodies remaining on the cross during the Sabbath, since that Sabbath was a day of special solemnity. The Jews asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken away. Consequently, the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with him and then of the other. When they came to Jesus, they found he was already dead. And so, instead of breaking his legs, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance, and immediately there came out blood and water. This is the evidence of one who saw it, trustworthy evidence, and he knows he speaks the truth and he gives it so that you may believe as well because all this happened to fulfill the words of scripture not one bone of his will be broken and again in another place scripture says they will look on the one whom they have pierced. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, the devotion of the most sacred heart of Jesus is promoted by medieval mystics like St. John Eudes, St. Gertrude, St. Margaret, and many other saints. This gives an implication that human heart is very important in our day-to-day -day relationships. The human heart of Jesus brings forth love, concern, affection, unity, harmony, serenity, tranquility, patience, calmness, above all, mercy and compassion. The traumatic experiences, the sufferings and death that Jesus had to go through 
speaks of the type of heart he had human heart with lots of emotions and these positivity and positive emotions speak about who this jesus was the devotion to the sacred heart of jesus invites all of us to be compassionate merciful loving and affectionate towards the other let your neighbors and all those who encounter you in your day to day life experience that you are a person who has a great devotion to the sacred heart of jesus let your heart be giving or radiating love mercy compassion patience humility gent gentleness concern for my own brother and sister and above all self sacrificing self emptying in order that others may live to the full jesus takes upon himself sufferings and even death so that you and me all of us can live that we can be saved that we can be in the company of god the father god the son and god the spirit so my dear friends the ministry of jesus clearly tells us how compassionate he was towards the needy the hungry the poor the blind the deaf the lame the poor this is the sacred heart of jesus feeling for others showing his love in spite of difficulties we are invited to be loving to be affectionate and to be kind amen let us profess our faith together i believe in god the, the father, father almighty, almighty creator, creator of heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth and in jesus, and in jesus christ, christ his only son, son our lord who was, was conceived by the holy, holy spirit, spirit born, born of the virgin mary, mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died died and was buried he descended into hell on the on third, third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church, church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen day all we have make them thine no oh lord day all we have make them thine we offer you o oh lord divine a humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your altar lord today make them worthy of your love send your blessings from above sanctify these gifts o oh lord we pray o oh, take our hearts take our minds take all we have make them thine o oh lord take all we have make them 
pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray, on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pure sight, the wellspring of the church sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Saviour. All might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the prayer of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My dear brothers and sisters, wishing you a very happy feast to be loving, affectionate, and compassionate towards others. Live Jesus. I salute you, great Saint Anthony, and rejoice at the favors which our Lord has so highly, liberally bestowed on you. I remind you especially of that blessed moment when the divine infant Jesus condescended to embrace and fondly caress you. Oh, what great happiness and joy must have filled your heart on that occasion. By this special prerogative and by the joy of your beatific vision by which you now behold him face to face, 
we beg and treat and conjure you, O dear Saint Anthony, to help us in our afflictions, troubles and anxieties, particularly concerning. My dear brothers and sisters, kindly mention your troubles and your desires now. O oh, let your heart be moved to intercede for me, to hear and answer me. Tell our Lord of the wants and necessities of your devoted client. One word, one sigh from your heart, which Jesus loved so much, will crown my success and fill me with joy and gratitude. Amen. Amen. Let us recite one Our Father and a Hail Mary and a Glory Be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A model soul for all The star of Padua we bow Help us to live our call We turn to you, Saint Anthony A model soul for all The star of Padua we bow Help us to live our call We hail thee Do what do to pray for us. We hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee. Oh, Saint Anthony, offer do what do to pray for us. Saint Anthony, our advocate in all our daily needs. Saint Anthony, our advocate in all our daily needs. Obtain for us the grace of God, in our life may we succeed. Bow down, bow down, your grace is from above. Surrender the loss to your care and your love We pray to you, Saint Anthony We turn to you, Saint Anthony A model soul for all The star of Padua we bow Help us to live our call We turn to you, Saint Anthony A model soul for all Oh, Saint 
Brittany of Wadua to pray for us. We hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee. Oh, Saint Anthony of Wadua to pray for us.